Thanksgiving as people cook up turkeys all over the country. At least one lucky bird is going to live through the season thanks to a presidential pardon. There's two turkeys up for the job, and it all comes down to a vote. Jenny moves now with the story of the turkeys making news instead of the menu. What did one clumsy turkey say to the other at a Washington photo opportunity? Pardon me. There they were in the ballroom of the posh Willard Hotel amid dangling chandeliers. Their snoods dangled as the press tried to get them to talk. <laughs> it's caramel versus popcorn. The White House is running a contest asking people to vote on which should be the national Thanksgiving turkey. Some are comparing it to the Hunger Games. There's 24 of us, Gail. Only one comes out. But in this case, both come out alive. Though only one gets the presidential pardon publicly. You are hereby pardoned. The other is an alternate. Our money's on popcorn. Plumper. <laughs> With a more robust gobble. Caramel and popcorn join other illustrious duos. Pumpkin and pecan. Biscuits, gravy. Cobbler and gobbler. Flyer and fryer. Caramel and popcorn come from a Minnesota farm where 20 finalists were trained in this cottage. John Burkle practiced lifting them onto this table so they wouldn't do this when their big day came. The popcorn and caramel seem more relaxed than their human owners. The kids taught the photographers to whistle and trill to get the turkeys to gobble. I think you know how to speak turkey. The turkeys made the 1,500-mile drive to Washington in 27 hours. They've already outlived most of their compatriots. The truth is, on my farm, I've never raised them past 14 weeks because we eat them. Occasionally, a pardon bird gets peckish. <laughs> a pardoner in chief expresses ambivalence. Thanks to the interventions of Malia and Sasha, because I was planning to eat this sucker. And then there was the turkey that didn't get pardoned, the one that met his demise behind Sarah Palin's back. It happened as she was giving an interview at a turkey farm shortly after she and John McCain were defeated. We'll spare you the gruesome part. Oh, well, this was, this was me. The people will decide whether popcorn or caramel gets the glory this year. At least this government website is working. It's no turkey. <laughs> Genie Most, New York. That's so great. Let me just make, yep, okay, no, all turkeys behind us are safe here. Can you gobble? <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. No. You do that. <laughs> you do that very Although, well. Although, I wonder, I'm, you know, I'm not a huge fan of the, <laughs> the names this year. Um, Green Bean. What, what? I'm not. That could be a good name for a turkey. No, I don't know where you're going Liston, with this. Liston, that could be a good name for a turkey. Yeah, Liston would make a good turkey. Liston likes that name right there. That's Pardon a Florida turkey director. And Liston right yeah, there. he likes turkey. All right, well, if you're heading out, it's getting colder out there. <laughs> yeah, grab the jacket. You know, Thanksgiving, everyone's like, thanks. It's going to be so nice.